Hey guys, I just want to do another update video and give you an idea of where I'm at and what's going on because I know that I've been really lacking in making videos for a while. But um, anyways, you know, I got my license back and all that and that's all good. And so I'm looking for work. And uh, well, I went like a week ago to get my oil changed in my vehicle. So, um, you know, it wasn't really used a whole lot while I didn't have my license. And so I got the, the tires all aired up. I checked, you know, all the fluids and everything, I'm trying to get it up to date and, and make sure it's all good and everything. So I went to get an oil change at Walmart, and I went there, I got an oil change, and they told me that there was an oil leak and that I needed to get that checked out. So an oil leak's never really a good thing. I hope that it's not really that serious and it's an easy fix and it's, you know, cheap or whatever. But uh, anyways, I called the local mechanic, and he couldn't check it out until this Tuesday. So I've had to wait for like over a week and uh I've decided not to drive anywhere, not to risk anything. You know, as far as I know, it's been pretty good. I've never noticed any leaks. There was one time when I went somewhere with mom and, and we noticed a leak, uh but you know, I thought the oil level was right and everything, so I never really thought much of it. Um but yeah, unfortunately, the, well, the people at Walmart said there was, so it's going to get checked out. I hope it's an easy, quick fix. Um, but, you know, that stinks. So that's kind of got me down, and that's one thing. But, you know, I'm looking for work. I've got a couple of pages of paper filled out of places that I've applied, and i got the phone numbers written down, and I'm checking on things, and I'm confident that sooner or later, you know, I'm going to get a job somewhere. So I'm applying everywhere, gas stations, stores, fast food, restaurants, rest regular restaurants, you know, any different kind of job that I can think of. And uh, so that's that. So those are kind of things I'm waiting on to get the vehicle fixed more, and uh, I'll be a little bit more active then. And, uh, you know, I'm applying at hotels too, just everywhere. But anyways... You know, I'm pretty happy, but I'm kind of down at the same time. So I'm slowly working on things. I said that I was working on that page with Kevin Zacker, and I am, and I'm probably almost done with that. But then I've kind of hopped back over and started on Steven Anderson because the brother wanted me to work on this reprobate doctrine thing, and I've wanted to, too. So I've chopped up one of Steven Anderson's videos so far, and, I mean, I listened to the whole thing while I was mowing, and it's just so bad. And there's really two of his teachings, um, two of his sermons that I wanted to cut up. I've only done one now, but there's another one I want to get to, too, but I'll probably cover this one first, and then I'll do the other one, because he covers some different stuff in the other one, different verses and stuff. But he takes so much out of context, he twists things so much. This is so wrong, I pretty much had to chop up the whole video. Uh, it's just unbelievable. But I kind of wanted to share this, and I don't know if I can get to this quick enough, but, uh, you know, here's everything so far that I've chopped up. I've got one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve different parts chopped up, and, you know, he probably covers multiple verses and stuff in each one of these. He has different arguments, but. Uh, what's really interesting, I thought, was here at the end where he's covering 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11, which I've mentioned before, and pretty much anybody would. If somebody was going to say that homosexuals can't be saved, you know, that's absolutely false. We know that any sinner can be saved as long as they repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Murderers, drunkards, fornicators, extortioners, you know, liars, whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as they turn to the Lord in repentance and believe on him, they can be saved. But Stephen Anderson is saying pretty much that homosexual is a person who has went beyond, they've rejected God so much that God has rejected them and they can't be saved. But 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11 pretty much clearly expresses that homosexuals can be saved. Uh, besides, you know, the whole scripture, you know, Jesus said whoever believes on him can be saved. Um, but... Anyways, it says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, which a lot of people would probably say uh, means homosexuals here, abusers of themselves with mankind, you know, men sleeping with men, 
nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, you are sanctified, you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus. So all these different kinds of people. And this list isn't, you know, just exclusive. This is just a random list of things. There could be much more, you know, anything could be filled in there. Um, so, but I think that probably generally a lot of people would say that abuse of themselves with mankind or homosexuals. Uh, maybe there's other things that people would say, but of course Stephen Anderson has to say that it means something else because he can't be having homosexuals being saved in scripture. So uh, he comes up with these really bizarre arguments, but his main one is he says, maybe this is speaking of women who are like whoremongers. And so nor abusers of themselves with mankind is speaking specifically of females who have slept with a lot of men, who are promiscuous or whatever. Very odd that this is speaking of only females. <laughs> just, I just thought it was just outrageous. And this last part, I just... Um, and I'm, I'm dealing with there's the a whole 20-minute the segment because, here that I just let it run because you know, he just kind of goes off. And I, I don't want them but probably somewhere in the middle, he mentions, he mentions some this. Some kind of a, an act with other men kind. could be those who have committed some kind of a, an act with other men, but they're not... A homo because they're not like in Romans one burning in lust. Yeah, and this one is his another. second interpretation. He says, you know, that, if you don't want to go for it, for being example, just females, they were forced into something. Yeah. You know, gun to their head. <laughs> Maybe it means somebody who did a, a homosexual act that was forced into it with a gun to their head. I mean, he just goes like way beyond scripture here, and completely construes things. I mean, you gotta think that anybody listening to this, like, are they really falling for this? Like, you know. He has to go so far out of the way to try to teach his false doctrine. Chapter 6, verse 18 says, Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that committeth fornication, watch this, sinneth against his own body. You know, so he tries to say it could just be fornication. And quads and triceps and biceps, you know, and just be all ripped and hard. Or, ah! But here's the thing. But here's a man. We don't want it in a woman. Want women to be soft uh, come women. On. But what about when a man becomes soft and I was gonna try to find the specific so the effeminate point before I made is the this girly video, mind. but then I'm like uh I effeminate is not cut to it really quick. Right. And by this transgen <sighs> that didn't even exist. I mean it, you can't even make this stuff up. And then he said, Well, abuses of themselves with mankind. Of course that he just he just assumes just of course that's a homosexual. I mean, of course, right? I mean just of course. Well, if you got an NIV, it's a homosexual. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. If you got the New American Standard, if you got the ESV, if you have a false version, yeah, they'll replace that with the homosexual. But that's not really what it says, is it? It says abuses of themselves with mankind. Now, you know, there are different theories about what this could be referring to. You know, for, but for example, one theory that is a pretty viable theory is if you look at verse 18 of the same chapter, are you in 1 Corinthians 6? 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18 says, Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that committeth fornication, watch this, sinneth against his own body. Doesn't that sound kind of like defiling yourself with mankind or abusing yourself with mankind? Because this term is found in one other place in the Bible, in 1 Timothy 1, as those that defile themselves with mankind. It's the same word. So, fornication yeah, but it already is says neither fornicators. Abuse, according to it says neither fornicators right off the bat, and then it says nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves. I think one very likely meaning that this so could be referring that it could to say is that abusers of themselves twice. with mankind could be that this is like <laughs> the female equivalent of a whoremonger, because the whoremonger is a man who defiles himself with a whole bunch of women. He sleeps around. This could be the woman who abuses herself with mankind. <laughs> She's a fornicating woman who sleeps around. That's one very 
viable meaning. Some it people can't be say, referencing well, men sleeping with Greek, men. You know? it can't they don't be, speak Greek. They don't even know how to order a gyro sandwich. Completely against what Anderson's taught this whole hour. You know, if sermon. you drop them off in Athens, they can't even find the hotel. This passage destroys Anderson's false doctrine. They don't even know how to find the hotel. And you can see how goofy it is when he tries to and, you know, well, explain well, this. But here's what you have to understand about if, if you, because I've, I've looked this up because of the fact that, you know, I'm constantly getting challenged on this. So you heard so it from him. He goes over it more. You can come to the website and check it out. Heard all the arguments. So and they come kjvforum.com. Just they, search for Stephen Anderson in the search. But yeah, I'm going to be working on this, so sorry guys, just I need your prayers, and uh, just um, slowly working towards things, and can't wait to get the vehicle hopefully fixed, and hopefully it can be fixed, but you know, I'm pretty confident it will be, I just hope it's not a big, hard process. Anyways, God bless.